Hello everybody, what is going on? My name is Harry and welcome everybody to another Roblox video and today everybody we're going to be teaching you how to make and use infinite terrain inside of Roblox Studio just like this what I'm demonstrating right now. This is all being procedurally generated which means it can be generated on forever just like in a game like Minecraft. As you can see we have models here like trees being generated along with bushes. We also can go over here and show you there's underwater areas just like this. Um, the graphics here I'll teach you how to make and yeah this is a very very cool thing which can last forever and in this video I'm going to be teaching you how to do so. Now before I teach you how to do it I just would like to say that the creator of this plugin is known as Sufi Kane. I did not create this plugin and if you would like to see his videos on this make sure to go and check out his channel but yeah I'm going to be trying to condense this information and make it as easy to follow and do it in my way so yeah let's go ahead and let's do this okay then guys to start off we're going to go over to the toolbox and inside the toolbox we're going to go to change these models to plugins and we're going to look up infinite terrain just like this here as you can see we can come up with this plugin here which you can go ahead and install and when that's installed come back before we continue i have a late christmas gift for you guys so for many of you when you're developing you may be you know stressed tired and just kind of get overwhelmed now the best way to resolve that is by listening to something now sometimes people listen to music but i personally think the best way is by listening to audiobooks now the best place to find audiobooks is audible yes this video is brought to you by audible if you guys fancy 30 days free please make sure you go via my link in the description as it not just helps you out with 30 days free of relaxing listening also help me out greatly so please go ahead and do it as you know there's no commitment you can cancel after the 30 days just support me support you and yeah Okay, so as soon as you open it, you'll get this little area here. Now, what you're going to do, I'm going to show you what all this means. So, generate terrain pretty much means when you click on this and turn it on, whenever you move around, it's just going to, uh, well, you know, generate. Now, obviously, we don't have anything to generate yet, and I'll say in a second, so we can just turn it off for now. Distance here is the render distance, so if you have ever played Minecraft before, you would know that the render distance is pretty much a distance you can see, and distance that it generates, so... This is um, six. Thickness is the thickness of the um, terrain, so it's not a full block, if you get what I mean. It's a thin layer that kind of wraps around, and I think six is a good thing here. Um, shift here, this is not necessary to look at, so we're not even going to look into this. Water height here is the height that water is at in game. Now, um, I think that the water height here definitely is zero because uh, it's nice to keep that at that Y level. So let's start off by um, adding in materials because materials is what we need. So to add a material, we're going to press this add material button. Now you may see, you may be wondering what on earth this is. Well, this is just our standard material. We can now click on this button here, and as you can see, we can change. This is air, and these are all the materials you know. So I'm going to do grass. Okay, so this one here shows you the number. Um, well, I guess the stud of which this starts. Okay, go from point zero and go down negative ten thousand. That's where it will start, and it will end at 10,000 this is where it will actually generate okay okay and finally what we're going to look into is this little digit here which pretty much means the slope distance so for example if we set this to something like a uh, 9 it will only appear at the slope distance of 9 but we're going to set that back to what it is before okay okay so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and add a load more materials in uh, as a material list and I'll get back to you okay so I've now finished this material list if you guys want to feel free to copy it please do this is you know Pretty much a standard landscape sort of, you know, plains biome uh, ideology. As you can see, you can have work out from what I told you before how these work. Now, as you can see, we generate terrain. Nothing actually happens apart from giving us a completely flat sand. Now, we really don't want that. So, what we're going to do is going to turn it off. I'm going to clear up all the terrain. Now, what we're going to do is we need to add something called noise. Now, if you've ever seen a, a bump map or a shadow map, not really a shadow map, it's a noise map, of course, for making maps, this is pretty much what it is. And this is creating a somewhat virtual version rather than using an image. So as you can see, we can just press add noise. And we're going to edit this in a second. We're just going to press generate train on. And as you can see, instantly, we have got ourselves a brilliant looking generated train. Now, it doesn't really have that good right now. It looks pretty, you know, pretty standard. Now, what we're going to do 
as you can see, you come down here, it's sort of like this. Now, how this noise works? Now, this right here is the um, sort of size, uh, not really scale, of port of the uh, amplitude, I could call it, of the noise. So if you make this 100, let me just clear it all. As you can see, things are getting a lot bumpier, okay? Already, this is looking, yeah, a lot bumpier, which kind of looks nice, I can say. Um... This one here is the kind of scale of that, so if I make this 0.5, increase the scale of it and just clear it all. As you can see, the scale of it is now crazy and glitched, all that kind of stuff. But what we're going to do is we're just going to make this, um, we're going to put this back as it was, I think it was 2, something like that. Okay, yeah, that looks a lot nicer, that's a lot smoother now, that is what we're liking. As you can see, this is, yeah, this is looking a lot better. Um, this here is the uh, bottom cap, so at the bottom here, it caps it at minus 10, if I can make this minus 100 if I wanted to, and redo this, as you can see, things are getting a lot deeper, um, although the water underwater kind of looks a bit weird, because it's, cause how water generates in Roblox is really messed up, but yeah, that's, you know, we'll kind of pass on that for now, I'm going to keep that at minus 10, and then this one here is the top cap, so let's say I want to cap this at, I don't know, four for some reason and i clear it all as you can see it will cap the terrain and not make it any higher than this sort see this area here it's not making it any higher but yeah i think 10 is a nice place to have that um yeah so this right here is our little kind of world generation and noise now you can add multiple noise layers if you want to so for example i'll add a different one and clear all terrain again what that will do is it will kind of give variety a bit more. So as you can see, that is looking a lot nicer now. That is really nice terrain. The best thing to do here is mess around with, you know, the amplification scale, top cap, bottom cap, and you will get yourself a very lovely varied terrain, just like this one here. This is looking really, really nice. And I'm so happy with this one. I'm actually going to go ahead and move over to generating models. Okay guys, so to add models into the game, all you want to do is I'm just going to turn off the generation terrain real quick and we're going to actually go ahead into our replicated storage here and we're going to add a folder and we're going to name this folder Terrain um, Models, just like this with a capital L. Now, inside this terrain models, we are actually going to add our, well, models. So I'm going to be grabbing a tree from the forest kit or what you may see is my realistic game tutorial. If you want to see a game, um, make a realistic game, make sure you go check that out right now. But yeah, guys, we're going to go ahead and get the models. Okay, so I'll grab this tree here from the thing, and I want this to be trees that are scattered all around the place. Now, to do that, we're going to be using a beta feature, which is known as the pivot editor. So you want to go to file up here, we're going to go to beta features, and we are actually going to go ahead and make sure the pivot editor here is on. And when that's done, just press save, and you might have to restart your studio. Okay, so with this, all you want to do is you want to click on it, and you want to go to the model tab and turn on the edit pivot. And with this thing here, we're going to make sure snap is off, and we're going to make sure this is a point here in which you're fine for the tree to go under. So, this what this will do is prevent things like, you know, this bottom of the tree hovering above the train, because this pivot ever to here will allow that. So, the best place to probably put it is about there, maybe halfway. This is, I've done this one earlier, it's probably normally down there, but you want it a bit further up. So, just in case, just above the kind of stump bit, because that will, what that will do is it will make sure that it can go in the ground nicely rather than sticking out. We can then go ahead and just click on this again. And with this tree one, we're going to go ahead and drag it into terrain models. Now, as you can see, if we clear our terrain and generate again, nothing actually will happen yet. But that is fine because what we need to do is to allow the plugin to realize it's there. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down into our uh, model area and press add model. Now, in this little box here, we are actually going to put the words tree one, just like which is popping out here, just the same name as that, what you want to do. And we're just going to clear all terrain. And as you can see, okay, <laughs> the, yeah, this, this happens, okay? It generates every, I don't know, it just completely generates all the time. And we do not want that. So, what we want to do is change this number here, which currently is 10. That is the spacing. So, let's make this something like 30 and clear all terrain. And as you can see, now that is generating a lot nicer and more spread out. Now, um, yeah, I like that. That's what I want to have. Now, you may be looking at this and saying this is not in any way looking cool because it's just repetitive and it goes over water. I mean, in land, it fits in nicely as we've uh, edited the pivot point. But in water, this is looking really, really bad. Um, 
So what we're going to do here is we need to edit this little item here, which pretty much shows you the lowest point it can be. So I'm going to make this 10 because that's 10 studs above or above um, the water level. We can clear our terrain now. And as you can see, none of it will be in the water level. It will be above this level 10, which now already makes us look a lot better. But still, it is repetitive. As you can see, it's layer after layer after layer. There's no, you know, variety in it. So that's why we need to change this by pressing on this little end button. What this will do is it will change, well, the noise of the trees, which you've seen earlier up here. We can now press clear all terrain. And as you can see, we no longer have repetitive patterns. We have randomized, um, well, just, yeah, they're randomized, which is already looking really, really, really nice. I think this is looking brilliant. We can now go ahead and add another model. I'm actually going to add a fern and I'll be right back. Okay, as you can see guys, I edit, edited this a bit more and made these uh, ferns more spread out. I'm asking you to add some noise into that, clear this terrain. And as you can see, we should now have a really lovely looking randomly generated world, which already I think is looking brilliant, just like our example at the start of the video. And that is that for this video. Thank you very, very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one.